Hey there, folks. It's Shad and Danny. Welcome to uh, Shaddy, what we could possibly call the mid-season edition, or just a little past mid-season edition of Bronco Planet. Uh, been gone for a couple of weeks, uh, uh, traveling uh, this great country of ours. And uh, in that meantime, Shad, uh, one win, one loss, but one common theme between both games... Piss poor play by the Denver Broncos. Yeah, I, I tell you what, we skipped last week because we consider the Raiders like a buy. So sure. that, that's not even really like a considered anything. Doesn't have it, you know, rate when they say Raider week it, <laughs> nowadays, it's just like, man. Nah. Yeah, it's yeah. like saying, hey, how about some Brussels sprouts with that steak? I think it's, the one thing that's <laughs> been a little frustrated about those uh, those two games, Danny, is how flat that the Broncos have come yep. out. I was really surprised on the Raider game because we had heard in the news Elway had come down and spoken to the team. And I was like, boy, that must have been a crappy speech, John. <laughs> Right. Because they they started off so crappy in that game, but they were able to come together, Six put together. Six possessions, yeah, no yeah. points, and then all bam, of a bam, sudden, bam. everything clicks. And five possessions later, it's touchdowns on the board, and, and, and everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're looking Except at the for Denver Brock, Broncos. who kept trying to come into the game and yeah. wasn't allowed in. Uh, but uh, anyway, at the end of the day, we get through that Mickey Mouse, and now we go to a, a road game in a mm -hmm. dome. You think, hey, perfect timing. The Broncos just open up this beautiful facility you see behind us. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, they're all excited, and now we're going to a dome. We know they got a pass rush, which is, you know, is a little bit of concern for right. us going in with our, our goofy line. And uh, we start off flat again, but right. this time we just couldn't. It was like a hangover you can't get over right. again. You know, the funny thing was is that each and every one of us out there was just waiting for the other shoe to drop. And, and that other shoe is the offense gets going, the defense starts playing, and all of a sudden we're up three touchdowns. That's what we've you know, expected because that's what we've seen pretty much throughout the season other than just, a, you know, coming out of the gate, which it, 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 I can't remember the last time that happens. It, it has been that long. But – uh that that shoe shed it, it never it never came down uh and it was just it was really really weird it's a different kind of feeling than the new england loss you know the new england loss it was one of those gut things where you just you know at a, at a certain point in the game you just go oh we are yep. so done i never got that feeling with the rams uh to their defense uh denver actually holding uh that juggernaut of a yeah, yeah. <laughs> st louis rams offense all, all kinds uh, of field five, goals. yeah five field goals uh, touchdown, but it was it just never it never got clicking, Shad, and it, it it was probably for me personally one of the biggest head scratcher games this year. Yeah, well, for me, I mean, I, I took it a little more harsh than you did. I was a, oh, little, yeah. a little pissed I got off that by, phone the, call. by the whole thing. But mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, here, here's what frustrates me, and it's actually some with the fan base. All right, so once again, I don't know. You watch American Idol, don't you, Danny? From time to time, uh, you sure. don't watch for sure. You did, right? Right. Well, here, here's what here's what bothers me about that show. Early on, when they're trying out you know the the people that are not prepared right. sucking bad and, and you wonder hey do their friends and family are they giving them good advice like are they telling them every day you know what you're doing a great job johnny and then the, the poor guy shows up on the set he can't sing a lick he's embarrassed he looks like crap all right bronco fans we're not going to sit here and tell the broncos when they play crappy football like they right. did this last week that everything's fine that's that's going to prove that we're diehard Bronco fans. We have high expectations right. and we're not going to lie to you and tell you that they're doing a great job when they're not. And frankly, that was a piss poor job. I oh, mean, yeah. John Fox is, oh, we say it week after week, if, if the Broncos don't get at least to the AFC Championship and maybe even the Super Bowl, he's gone. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a fact. And I, I don't mind so much losing the St. Louis Danny. It's the way we're losing. Right. How can you have a Hall of Fame quarterback like we have in, in Peyton Manning getting the crap kicked out of him and thrown off his game, right? right. Because they're blitzing <clears throat> up the middle, and Jack Del Rio, who sees this happening right before his very eyes, won't do the same right. on his own side. Why don't you get in Sean Hill's face and send some pressure up the middle? Right. I, I don't get it. Nobody gets it. Former players are all over Twitter. Right. They don't get it. Nobody in the world gets it, Jack Del real why we don't put pressure on quarterbacks up the middle if it frustrates a hall of fame quarterback you don't think it's going to frustrate sean hill right, give me a break let's just look at it from this standpoint shady uh and, and maybe this is where jack wrote del rio is coming from he's got demarcus Ware on one side hall of famer uh -huh. not even arguably the man's going to the hall you got von miller on the other side and 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 big beef up the middle they've had success with a four-man front putting pressure on a quarterback and all they have to do is just bring up a tight end bring up a running back and just stop or impede 
the first two steps of either DeMarcus or push him or, out, yeah, or uh, Von Miller, and you've thrown off that whole, you know, that whole package of pressure coming from the outside. Why the hell we can't do that on offense is beyond me. Whenever we face, I a, know, quit a, a, resting a on your laurels. Like yeah, it just, it just. Everything about it, it was opposite world once again, Chetty. It was just, uh, why, you know, why are we not bringing pressure? Why are we not blitzing? Why do we keep dicking around with this offensive line trying to, you know, uh, trying yeah. to come up with this with this ultimate deal, uh, you know, for, you know, of course, we've been gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, Broncos yeah, brought yeah, in they're it. rotating different people yeah, around just, uh, you and, know, and trying it, silly stuff. We, we said this two weeks stupid. ago. Quit dicking around with the offensive line, and and at this point, it's just really almost a reset. Word, it's anyway. just almost a Got reset. It. Put put Clark back at right tackle. Get everybody shuffled back where they're supposed to be, and quit this. You know, at least it's it, at least yeah, all it's, these experiments in the middle well, of the season. It's, and it's, by the way, and not I guess only, if you're going to do it, then now is the time to do it. Everybody knows that any team can catch fire and it's a matter of you know After a matter of what mean who's on a roll right, right, right. and, and who's going to catch fire at the right time and i can tell you right now folks if if denver doesn't fix this this mess there may not be a postseason we're, we're already you know thank god we got a tiebreaker with the chiefs but we're now tied uh for the afc west yeah yeah uh, no and, i and mean that's just, the thing that you're absolutely right that's the thing that fun. really gets you pissed forget about the the whole st louis game what's important there what i'm right. thinking about is our super bowl chances just went from 80 percent to 20 percent. you say why does that doesn't make any sense yet? because now because guess what new, yep. Eng new england goes in and kicks the crap out of the colts you see the dolphins win you see the Bengals win you you see the Chargers win, the Chiefs win again. Right. Everybody's winning, and we can't beat a less than 500 team because of lack of preparation and lack of creativity. The Broncos coaching staff has a creativity of a club cracker, Danny. Right. It is it is so bland, it's not even funny. And it's not just on defense, it's on offense. Right. I mean, how many right. times... <laughs> All you got to do is study Peyton Manning for five minutes, right. and you'll know that he's going to throw that 89% of his passes within the first 20 yards. And if it's third down, most likely he's going to be two yards before the sticks. Right. That's where he's going with the ball, and they're jumping routes. Right. And, and and they're they're. when did you see Demarius Thomas get a long pass early in the game? You didn't. Demarius right. Thomas doesn't get a pass to the last play of the first quarter. You're not throwing the ball down deep. What, what happened honest. to Jay right, right. Cutler when right. in this last week, if you watch Jay Cutler, throw up this long bomb, Brandon Marshall comes down with it. Penalties happen. They get blown coverages. Right. We've got to mix and match. Get away from the club cracker mentality and start, you know, I, I don't mind you we run when we're gonna run, Danny. We run. It's one right. to one run, then another run. Pass on third down. Then we'll go to a game like this one where you only run nine times. There's right. no creativity. Well, What's I mean, the last time of, you I'm saw? I'm also kind of conflicted a little too, Shad, because what have the Broncos done this year running the ball? Other than one or two games, they've stunk. I know, they've but when they were pathetic. successful, so, they uh, mixed it up and then oh, yeah, they yeah. passed no, and then and, ran. And I get that. Obviously, uh, Emmanuel Sanders going down, Julius Thomas going down didn't help the cause. Uh, we only saw a wide open Wes Welker on numerous. Occasions. Why Cody Latimer was uh, was an actor blows my mind. Blows Come on, coaches, mind. you're NFL well, coaches, so. and you can't get a player up to speed by week ten on what the plays are and how to run them. Right. You're an NFL coach, and you can't do that with a talented young guy. It, it, it's ridiculous. I'll, I'll give you this. I mean, uh, just a couple years ago, we had uh, Trendon Holiday on the roster, and his job, his only job, mm -hmm. was to return punts, return kickoffs, return punts, occasionally punts, mostly kickoffs. Uh, we have sat and watched this whole season a very, you know, when you talk about a club cracker, uh, Andre Caldwell doing absolutely nothing with, with any attempt at a kickoff return. You've got Cody Latimer inactive. What, what, why, why, why not bring him in? Exactly. You know, why not bring and him why are we even returning shot? kickoffs? Right. And half the time we get penalties and we never get past the 20. Mm. Down the freaking ball every time on every kickoff. Right. And let's start getting Especially our, our well, rookie if you in got called well back there, then yeah. I, I certainly would agree with that. But, you know, uh, the. the uh, and special... Jacob Tammy. How many times can we throw to a covered Jacob Tammy? Jacob Tammy is a surprise mix up guy. He's not a guy you want to line up and use on every. I know Julius is out. Right. All right. But if you had Latimer in there, Maybe you, you spread things out and you bring in an extra receiver. We have got to start thinking outside of the box, Danny, and we're not we're not doing that. A special little kudo to interrupt your bitching. Uh -huh. uh, well, uh, I need one. It. One thing has been abundantly clear here in the past couple of days is uh, well, uh, obviously, and I'll, I'm going to just 
take back everything I just said about the bitch stopping mm -hmm. <laughs> was, okay. the, was the Monte Ball uh, appearance in this game. He's obviously still hurt. Uh, he, he got hurt on the first play in what, uh, you know, a critical third down. What do we see? Monte Ball again in, still hurt. Uh, you've got you've got Jawan Thompson. That is the bulldozer. But the, the whole point of this, C.J. Anderson. Yeah. My God, this kid is like Superman. Uh, he he's got quite possibly the softest hands. Two weeks in a row now, he's just pulled a catch out of its, you know that that Lynn Swan would stand up and clap too. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have an issue with who is going to be toting the rock. We just need to start toting the rock a little. And 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 obviously, uh, if 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 Denver's going to commit to the running game, that's not just a decision you decide to do. You have to practice it. It has to be a religion. No different than than the religion that that Peyton works with his receivers to be in an exact spot every time regardless of what the route is and until that gets fixed yet i think we're just going to keep floundering around i mean we've we've got a a hot hot miami dolphins team coming in uh sunday thank god it's at home it seems like the broncos haven't had a home game in a month and it's that's probably true yep but this needs to get fixed and uh and it, it needs to get fixed now and it's just it's so funny to me because you know denver media and of course we we listen to all the shows we call and we participate and and everything that we say uh is said for us by you know media outlets and it's just interesting to i i just get so tired of hearing we're going to learn from our sticks and we're going to get better we're going to learn from we're tired of how learning. much learning yeah how much learning do, how, how much how long much longer is this going to take get prepared yeah. change things up mix it up when's the last time you saw a reverse when's the last time you saw a flea flicker when's the last time you threw remember remember the old uh handed steve sewell and elway rolls off for a pass although i don't think i really want to see peyton manning uh, no. No. but i get your point pass, but we don't, right, right. we don't mix it up go long go short sometimes when it's third and nine instead of going eight yards or nine yards maybe go try and get you know throw it down the field we have to mix it up better the the run the mm -hmm. play calling and it does fall on so, a lot on peyton manning right. i've heard through the grapevine right peyton manning you know is is basically the one saying no to to guys like uh you know our rookie receiver right. he's the guy saying no Juwan thompson i want these season guys up mm -hmm. there and manning is also and i know he's had his neck surgeries he's getting rid of the ball too early i think if there's a little bit of panic there with that line i'd be a little panicked panic myself oh, yeah. but i mean you're seeing more and more each week that the ball is coming out before receivers are there before the the, the you know the crossing pattern has happened right. and and, mm -hmm. and he's floating them he, he almost Almost got three receivers killed. Right, right. I mean, when he had Sanders down the sideline, that's got to be more in a row. He, he had a, a crossing pattern uh, that Welker. didn't, where the pick didn't happen with Wes Welker. Bam, Wes gets done, and then he, he threw it up high for Caldwell. So right. literally, Peyton Manning is not kidding, and this is him talking himself. Has got to play better. Your twenty million dollar quarterback is right. not playing at that level, and neither is your Hall of uh, your uh, Hall of Fame, your uh, your All Pro All Pro left, left tackle. tackle. Mm -hmm. I mean, Clady. I mean, and that's why Manny gets rid of the ball. The very first play of the game, uh, Quinn zips right by Clady. Not only did he get a holding right. play, you know, call, but he got he, he you know, hit Here him we too. are in the middle of the year. We still don't know when to go on uh, on, on what count. Yeah. So just a bad, you know, it, it, it was a bad Sunday all around. Uh, you know, the, the, the real pisser of it, Shed, was the tease because uh, it was the Rams, and you just knew at some point Denver was going to get their act together. And it just, you know, I, 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 I was mad. But I wasn't, I wasn't steaming mad, and, I, and maybe I should have. You until, know, <laughs> until it all it's ended, just, Danny, yeah, yeah, and then there was just, plenty to be pissed at. Yeah, yeah. It, but when you when you go back and look about, you know, how you lost, and and uh, and and again, both sides of the ball. I'd rather lose on one stinking play. You know, guys playing the guts out, high scoring game, or even a low scoring game that's defense dominated. Uh, the defense actually did not play that bad. Roby got beat. He's a rookie. Uh, he was actually, close the coverage to him was too. good. Yeah, Where's the help yeah, with the, the safety? Was, yeah, Quentin the, Carter's up covering, I don't know, the running back or something. Right. I don't, I don't it get just, it. it. All in all, just a damn debacle. Hopefully, we get this stuff right uh, this Sunday. It's an afternoon game. Hopefully, the weather will. Uh, uh, you know, Colorado, we freezing our butts off one week and, and uh, sunshine and lollipops the next. Uh, it's it's a damn shame that, uh, it, it, well, if it was a little colder, it would probably help us against Miami. But they're, they're playing awful tough right now. Their defense playing awful tough right now. They're coming off a Thursday night game, 10 days to prepare for the Peyton Manning offense. So it'll be interesting to see what this coaching staff comes up with. Well, it's not going to take much with the way our coaches are, you know, doing it right now. It's two so. sheets of paper. <laughs> all right, folks, like well, I playing. think that's about all we got for uh, this week yeah. here on uh, Bronco Planet. We got to get better, man. When it sucks, it sucks. And that, that was one sucky game. I'm Shad.
You He's are. Danny. Reverse that, and, and you watch Miracle Planet. Planet.